Let's start with a look at the local markets then, which have been having a torrid time as of late. South Korea's benchmark Kospi opened lower this morning after closing below the 2,000 mark for the first time in 22 months on Monday. For the current situation, we have our business correspondent Kim Hye-sung on the line for us. So Hye-sung, just start by filling us in on the latest market movements. Hi, Mark. The benchmark Kospi was 0.5% down at the start of trading this morning, but jumped back to the 2000 level a little before 10 a.m. and is trading at around 1990 as we speak. It seems like the government's announcement to boost market confidence has helped a bit. This morning, the Financial Services Commission held an emergency meeting with the chairman of the FSC, Choi jong saying the organization will review a contingency plan and run it to help stabilize the stock market if necessary. This announcement also comes a day after the FSC said it will inject a $428 million U.S. dollar fund into undervalued local stocks. The Bank of Korea also held an emergency meeting vowing to work closely with the FSC and the Finance Ministry to help stabilize markets. Okay, well, Hesong, it's good that the Kospi hasn't plunged again today and is kind of hovering around the 2000 level, but it's still down more than uh, 6% compared to early last week and 20% uh, from its peak uh, back in January. Can you just uh, tell us why the market is so bearish at the moment? Well, it's not just local stocks. We are seeing a huge market route with U.S. stocks, emerging market stocks, plunging over the last couple of days. There are a number of factors, but number one is the U.S.-China trade spat. Concerns the escalating trade war between the G2 could slow down global growth is becoming a reality, with major U.S. companies' third-quarter earnings reports by major, I mean, companies like Amazon, Google Parent, Alphabet, posting disappointing third-quarter earnings and lower-than-expected earnings guidance for the fourth quarter. And overnight, U.S. stocks tumbled again on news the Trump administration is planning an additional $257 billion worth of tariffs on Chinese goods as early as December if talks between Presidents Trump and Xi fail to end the trade war at the G20 in Argentina next month. So there's growing fear this ongoing trade war could hurt Korea's export-oriented economy, which is already facing slowing growth, slowing investment, and poor corporate earnings results in the auto and shipping sectors. So a combination of external and domestic factors are weighing on markets. The Cosby has already lost around 15% this month alone and is down 20% from its peak in January. A lot of the analysts I've talked to say there is no good news to lift up market sentiment for now. But hopefully the government's contingency plan can help stabilize markets. And there is a degree of hope we could see an end to five straight sessions of declines today. Back to you, Mark.